Last week, the leading Republican presidential candidate suggested executing suspected thieves. As the audience applauded, laughed and cheered, Trump added for emphasis he was shot. Trump's defense of extrajudicial killings was widely reported in newspapers and TV stations in California but was generally ignored by the national press. No mainstream TV channels aired or quoted his speech live later that night. CNN and MSNBC talked about it in panel discussions over the next few days. The Washington Post, Wall Street Journal, NPR and PBS never reported it. The New York Times wrote about it four days later and played the story on page 14 of its print. Addition. The Anaheim speech was part of Trump's increasingly aggressive rhetoric and a muted response by the news media to his repeated incitements to violence. During his speech in Anaheim, Trump also mocked husband of Rep. Nancy Pelosi, who was severely injured last year in a hammer attack by an assailant who reportedly believed the former president's lies that 2020 election was stolen. A few days before his appearance in California, Trump claimed on his Truth Social platform that outgoing chairman Joint Chiefs of Staff Gen. Mark A. Milley deserved death for reassuring Chinese officials that United States had no plans to attack in final days Trump. Administration. Skip to end of carousel the style section is where the Washington Post breaks down what's happening at the forefront of culture and what it all means, including art, media, social trends, politics and, yes, fashion, all with personality and in-depth reporting. He also implied that he wanted revenge against judges, prosecutors, witnesses and officials involved in numerous criminal and civil cases. In April, Trump said the indictment of Manhattan District Attorney Alvin L. Bragg would result in potential death and destruction. Trump, who faces a civil lawsuit alleging business on Monday, urged people to follow New York State Attorney General Letitia James, who filed the lawsuit. The last comment received only scattered attention. Brian Kloss, a political scientist at University College London, said Trump's insinuations of violence were relatively less reported in the press because they had now become routine. Kloss says this reflects banality of madness. The tendency of news media to ignore or downplay statements that were once thought shocking but are now more taken for granted due to repetition. Exposed to constant ardment of deranged authoritarian excess from a man who may soon return to the presidency. Journalists have lost all sense of scale and perspective, Kloss wrote in The Atlantic last week. In headline that was both shocking and jarring. No surprise, Trump floats idea to execute Chief of Staff Milley. Kloss continued, but neither the American press nor the public can afford to calm down this much. The man who, as president, incited a violent attack on the U.S. Capitol to overturn an election is again openly ink.